sure. Oh no, I like that it's we're we're basically you touring see the street on Christmas when all the lights are off. We're basically touring the streets of Edinburgh at night. It's past 7 p.m. right now. Basically getting a quick taste of the nightlife. <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> on a Monday. We're very hungry. Yes. Especially Miss Mutchkin. Her stuff her poor tummy was food me. Was was growling up a storm. Maybe. And I'm like, and I thought I was hungry. <laughs> so we're just we're kind of exploring right now, and if we see something that looks appetizing, we're gonna go into it. And no, we're not going to McDonald's. No, there's a McDonald's right outside our hotel, and I suggest just going there just because we're lazy. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Let's see what Edinburgh has to offer. Oh, this is the night. It's a beautiful night, and they call it a morning. Oh. <laughs> Sing Disney, get it right. I can't. I never, I never, I never memorized that song. I saw that when I was a kid. Get a Disney okay. quote wrong, and I'll hold it against you forever. <laughs> Eat the pizza. So, what you see here is a statue of a soldier and a bear. This is from World War II, I believe. Now, there is a story behind the bear. The story goes is that some brave Polish soldiers during World War II found an abandoned cub in the woods and they raised them up. However, their line was called to protect the Scotland borders and unfortunately <laughs> they had to make a choice. Leave the cub behind or take it with it to the front lines. Either way, they knew this bear would die if they abandoned or took it with them. So they made the choice and took the bear with them. During the battle, the soldiers needed to have ammunition brought to them constantly to refill their weapons. And they're all shocked because the cub went missing and they couldn't find them. But they had to continue all the fight and some of the soldiers had to run back to carry ammunition. Boxes of it. Next thing they realize, they turn around and they see this little cub, this bear, standing on two legs and carrying a box of ammunition to the front lines. So this bear is a hero. This bear basically was mimicking the soldiers and bringing ammunition to the front line. The soldiers managed to hold the line. I believe it was the German army they were fighting and they, the Germans retreated and the bear was dubbed a hero and was given a medal of honor, I believe. But yeah, these were Polish soldiers helping to protect the Scotland borders. And that's the story. That is so cool. What do you have to say to that, Maddie? <laughs> it's amazing that all of this stuff is is right on pretty much on my front doorstep, and I didn't even know that story myself. You didn't know that nope. story? I only just learned it a few <laughs> weeks ago, I honestly. Didn't know about it. <laughs> it's an awesome story. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the castle right there. Yeah. Edinburgh Castle. <laughs> much more to see. Bye bye. You will have my bow, and my sword, and my axe. <laughs> it's funny because it's the actual axe. It is. This it's is the axe. It's this is like walking, the, walking uh, axe. Th this is a real axe, by the way. This is not This is not a prop. This is real. It could actually do some damage. In my hands? Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and it's not light, is it? Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's not actually that heavy. Yeah. And over here, we actually do have some of the Lord of the Ring swords. These are real swords. Don't drop them on anybody. <laughs> then you have some Game of Thrones swords over here. But I'm not gonna get a sword. Instead, I'm gonna get a nice, I'm gonna get a nice fairy door. So I can invite fairies into my house. 
I wish I could. Where would I put it? <laughs> but I'm going to get a fairy door. <laughs> would you like me to suggest where you can put it? <laughs> no. Okay, I'll stay quiet. Yep. <laughs> but if I get this, I can invite fairies into my house. It's a magical fairy door. <laughs> so, yeah. This when all the lights come on and it's getting dark. We're really? getting cold and seriously? <laughs> we both start vlogging at the I same said time. they'll cross the streams and what do you do? I cross the streams. You did. You cross the streams. <laughs> well, it's getting late. Or more like it's approaching evening and it just gets late and Aeon, Ellie, Katie, I think you'd like this place. The candles and witchery tours. So, yeah, if you haven't, I'm enjoying this. It's so pretty. We're going uphill right now. I hate hills. You know I hate hills. And yet we have to go up one anyway. Yes, we went in here earlier. It's so much fun. Oh, I wish they were lighting up those street lights above us. Aww. Okay. Well, we're heading back. We're going up a hill. I hate everything right now. I'll talk with you all later. Hello, little unicorn. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Oh. Ah. You, you, you sure you're fine? Yes. You sure? Yes. Whoa, 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 wait, what's wrong with your teeth? Nothing. <laughs> what's wrong with my teeth? <laughs> my teeth are fine. No, I don't think they're fine. I don't think she's okay, Maddie. She's fine. She's fine? Shut up. <laughs> well, um, have a good... Nah. <laughs> so we are on a double coach or bus. Bus, bus. <laughs> basically, it's a double bus, basically. It's very roomy and very pretty. I've never been on one, Maddie. I've never been on one, Maddie. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> Well, we are on the bus for four hours, so... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's a four-hour bus ride back to Inverness, and then we're going to chill with her friends. And then hopefully, if the weather cooperates, we'll see if we can check out Loch Ness. So it is the second to last day on my trip to Scotland. Sadly, I couldn't go to Loch Ness due to some tummy troubles. Let's just say the Deckard bus didn't agree with me. So we took her here instead. <laughs> yes. Next best thing. Next best thing, which is the, uh, where are we at right now? We are in a small fish fishing village called Lossy Mouth. Lossy Mouth. Lossy Mouth. Lossy Mouth, sorry. Mouth. Ma as Lossy in, Mouth. mouth. Lossy Mouth, got it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're basically checking out the coastline here. It's very quiet, yeah. surprisingly. And y'all may not be able to see very well, but that little dot on that little patch of beach right there is actually a baby seal. I don't know if it's a baby, but maybe, yeah, it's maybe a it's a baby. But well, it's a seal. Yeah. Point is, it's a seal, and he's looks like he's sunbathing and enjoying he's the evening. <laughs> See, like if you're walking along the beach, you can sometimes see dolphins as well. But oh, dolphins! Sometimes, nice. but yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get dolphins and Galveston sometimes, yeah. plenty of times. So, yeah. So this is um, literally five miles away from where I live. So this is on my doorstep. Yeah, much. it so took us literally five minutes by car yeah. to get here. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. just showing you around. Yep. This is an old fishing town basically. It's but also um, the nearest town to the local Royal Air Force Base. Ah so yeah. We'll have lots of people staying here that work for the military mm -hmm. or 
you know, if they don't work for the military, their spouses do, or they work here, or they'll work in Elgin, or um, in Inverness or Aberdeen, depending. So there's a lot of people commute here. Yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at this point, this is basically my last excursion, and then tomorrow I will rest before I, I got to take a long flight back to America. That'll be fun. I gotta take a flight from Inverness to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Atlanta. By the time I get home, it'll be midnight of, of the 19th, so that'll be fun. But yeah, obviously, by the time you guys see this, it'll be past the 19th by then, because it takes me forever to edit my vlog, so I apologize for that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. We'll be delighted to see it, and hopefully... Um, <laughs> some of our reviewer friends, after seeing all of this, they'll be like, hmm, maybe we should come and visit. You should come and visit to yes. all of you watching Silver Quill, Dr. Wolf, Josh Scorcher, Aramel, uh, Wilstonator, Katie Patterson, <gasps> Kate Frank, Golden Fox, Sweetie Bloom, Eliora. I, I could go on here. You guys know where she is now. She's in Scotland. Come and visit and see all of this. She wants to and show you her me. home. Yes. <laughs> stay with me. I will look after you very well as Lucy will vouch for you. Yes, she, she took very good care of me, even, even when I was spewing all over the Decker bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for. Yes. Friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. <laughs> so on that note, guys, I'll probably show them a few of my souvenirs I got from Scotland, but I am looking forward to going home. I will miss Scotland. It is a very quiet, very kind place and full of history and wonder and fantasy and I just can't help but recommend it for anyone who wants to travel the world. So till then, take care guys. Hello everybody, I am back from Brownie Scott in my humble abode. I got stuff to show, so let's get to it. So quite literally, this is the first fan gift I got right off the bat from a fan at Brony Scott. It is a Thanos Infinity Gauntlet coffee mug. <laughs> yes, it is actually a coffee mug. Isn't that amazing? I guess they saw me during Dr. Wolf's BronyCon videos this year about somebody holding an about me holding the Infinity Gauntlet because I realized it's got rainbows on it. And now I have a coffee mug of the Infinity Gauntlet. That's just so cool. Thank you so much, dude. But of course I couldn't forget about these. These were also given to me by a fan and it is the two copies of the specials of Equestria Girls and again if y'all have been kept up with the Equestria Daily or Dr. Wolf's channel you will know that um there there was a goof on the uh the thumbnails <laughs> apparently they they used Dr. Wolf's thumbnail on the background so now he's part of the cover and, he, and what happened was this fan was hoping that Dr. Wolf was going to be at Brony Scott there was apparently miscommunication there but I had to explain to him, no, he, he's unfortunately not here. And so the fan, with regret, decided, well, I'll give these to you. Then you give one to Doc and you can keep one. I'm like, that was just so, so sweet of him. So I can't begin to thank that guy enough for coming out to Brony Scott. And thank you so much, dude. Now, this is a very interesting <laughs> gift that I got from Matt Munchkin's good friend. He goes by the name Bear. And he literally just went up and carved this out for me out of big plaque of wood. This is a very heavy, sturdy plaque of wood here. And it's got my OC on the front. Ain't that amazing? <laughs> Bear, thank you so much for this. I can't wait to put this in a special place in my apartment. Now we're going to move on to some gifts that I got either for myself as souvenirs for Scotland or from some friends of mine. So let's just move on with that. So we, here we have some art pieces of some G1 ponies. This is my favorite pony right here. It's Firefly, and she's taking a snooze. I got this from basically the CEO of Brony Scott. Her name's Deanna, and love her to bits. She's the one who invited me out to Brony Scott in the first place, and I was more than happy to join. And she gave me, I think it's two, or is it three? No, it's two. Two G1 pony art pieces, and this is, uh, oh, I remember your name, give me a minute, Fizzy, 
This is Fizzy from My Little Pony Attack of the Smooths uh, movie. I probably said movie here again. And yeah, they are two of my favorite ponies, Firefly and Fizzy. I love Fizzy because she's just so adorable. And look at her pretty eyes. Now this, y'all can probably tell what it is already. It is a little card of Ellie Monty because Ellie Monty was attending Brony Scott as another community guest alongside me. And <laughs> needless to say, I didn't know her very well. So I was very surprised when she wanted to talk and hang out with me and I really appreciate her company. She's just a very talented and sweet lady. And she gave me this and it has a very special message on the back. To Blissy, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady. Amazing to get to see you again. You are a wonderful person. Keep smiling and stay creative. Wait, hey, that's Mad Munchkin's line. Copyright infringement. Peace, love, and unicorns. Ellie Monty. So you've got a cute little unicorn cat face up there. Ain't that sweet? Ellie Monty has performed at Brony Scott after party um it was a it was I think it was called the Nelly concert it was a lot of fun I was stayed up till 2 a.m when I got this <laughs> so thank you again honey now this was given was bought by Mad Munchkin we went to one of the local museums in Glasgow and I have to say it was definitely a fun experience and we went through some of the World War eras and I spotted this victory medal and it had the rainbow bands on it and I'm like oh that is so me but I decided not to get it because I was trying to save my money for other souvenirs but Matt Munchkin up and grabbed it for me so it's a victory medal from 1914 and from 1940 so this was for from World War One. It's a replica, not an actual metal. But yeah. Thanks again for getting this for me, Maddie. So this, I'm proud to say, I bought at one of the local shops in Glasgow, Scotland. It is the art from the Milo Pony the Movie G4. And I absolutely love this book. It wasn't cheap. I'll tell you that much. Oh, looks like I got a few art pieces in here. Oh, look at that. I forgot I put these in here for safekeeping. This is a... Basically, a, um, this was from one of the vendors who do 3, 3D um, prints of characters and whatnot. And I was actually thinking about getting one from them. So I really hope to get to do that with them. For those who are interested in wanting to get 3D models of characters or pony OCs, check out these guys. There's their information right there. This was drawn... Oh, and I gotta, I gotta get close up. They, they use like a glitter pencils here. I love it. They made one for me and Mad Munchkin. I think they even signed it on the back. Yes, they did. Oh, good. Starlight wants cookie. Thank you so much for this. I, I absolutely love this art piece. I, I, I want it to be a badge. Me and Maddie both agree these need to be badges. So we actually encourage this young artist to do more with herself and her talents because this was just absolutely gorgeous and I cannot begin to thank her enough for this. But yes, going back to the book, this is the My Little Pony art book. And basically it just shows concept designs of the backgrounds and characters they were coming up with. Which I thought was pretty cool. I, I love the backgrounds specifically. I'm not very good at doing, doing backgrounds myself, like this kind of artwork. But every time I see it, I'm inspired to try. The, the backgrounds here are amazing. The, the ideas they came up with, the concepts. Oh, like, here, here we go. Here we go. We got the Storm King concept designs. Those are his facial expressions. I guess these were some ideas they were going for with him originally. Ooh, wow. Imagine if he came out like that. Ooh, wow. Here's another version of him. Ain't that amazing? So yeah, be sure to check out this book if you haven't gone yet. I absolutely love it, and I think it was a great buy. And of course, I had to get one of these. It is a Scotland magnet. So I'm immediately going to put this on my fridge soon. Had to get that though, because hey, I, I went to Scotland. Who knows when I'm ever going to go back. Had to get me one of these, because if those who don't know, apparently the unicorn is the native animal of Scotland. 
So I had to get a mug for myself and my mom and my husband. I didn't get him a unicorn one. I got him a cool skull dragon one. But yeah, I have a unicorn mug now. I really love it and I cannot wait to use it. And last but certainly not least, this is a wooden art style door to allow fairies to come in. According to the, the description of these, if I put this anywhere in my home, it would allow fairies to come in and visit. So that's fun. I love that and I can't wait to find a place for this. I bought this at the sword and armory store. Um, for those of you who've been watching my vlogs, you'll see what, what, I, what I'm talking about that Maddie took me to where I held a claymore. I was so happy about that. Anyway, I had to get a souvenir from that store somehow and I thought, oh, well, this is cute. I was not about to buy a weapon because well, there'd be complications with mailing it back home and I couldn't take it home with me because I'd probably be stopped at in, at um, international security. So I got this instead. It was easy to carry. I love it. And yeah, that is my last souvenir from Scotland. So that's it for all the souvenirs I got from Scotland. It's been a wonderful experience. Mad Munchkin and to her family. Thank you so much for being my host. To Diane and Bear and Chris and Midnight Scriber and, and his friend, thank you so much, guys, for being my new friends and welcoming me in with open arms and taking care of me during some shenanigans I had. I'm not going to go into details about those. But, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I really hope some of my friends get to have the experience I had. Here's hoping that maybe Dr. Wolf will try to come if he can. If not, mm, well, I still do encourage some of my friends to try out for Brony Scott. It is a one-day con, more likely going to be held next year in November. So if any of you are in the area or are interested and want to see Scotland with new eyes, check out this con. Until then, everybody, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile.